Okay, so this is the Lenovo IdeaPhone K900. So this is an outstanding new phone from uh, from Lenovo. So this is a, let's start with a screen. This is an amazing phone for many reasons, but let's start with a screen. It's a full HD screen with over 400 pixels per inch. So you see an incredibly good quality of screen size. And if we flick to a website, so right, I'm going to go to Lenovo.com. We go to the Lenovo Spain website, and you can see even with the, uh, this is a normal website, not a not a mobile one. So even this, you can see the quality of the screen because you can see the whole all the text here, and it's legible. So we've made the screen size that we think is a good balance between giving you the amount of size of text together with the quality of the uh, of the image that gives users an optimum option result. This is also great for watching videos, so if I click here to a uh, video, here we go. This is a full HD video. Okay, so if we go from that, if we look at the cameras, so this is a 13 megapixel camera. It has a very wide aperture lens, that's f1.8, extremely wide aperture lens, which means you get more light going to the sensor. We use the Exmor BSI camera sensor, which is the best on the market. Um, that will then mean that you digitize your image more effectively. We then have a 13 megapixel camera, so you have a larger, better quality image at the end. More light, the wider structure lens you'll find, the best sensor you'll find, and uh, uh, one of the best uh, uh, images you'll find as a result. So this means that you'll get better quality images, especially in things like low light conditions, where smartphone cameras often have problems because they don't have there's not so much light there. Uh, and so you'll get better quality images in low light, which is what users want, because we carry our phones around with us during the day, we want to take pictures where we are, and we are often indoors or in low light conditions. So this is really going to make a difference here to to, to, to users. Uh, if we look at the front camera, this is an, uh, an F, sorry, this is a 2.0 megapixel camera, but it has a very wide angle lens. So this is an 88 degree wide angle lens. You'll see that there is more, this will give you more uh, allow you to have more of your friends on a photo when you take photos of yourselves with your friends, so it'll be easier to use. It also means that you'll have you'll be able to have better video conferencing because you won't have to hold the phone so far away from you when you do that. If we look at the, the design, this is 6.9 millimeters thin. It's very, very thin. That's, uh, and we've done that by optimizing a number of the components. This is a stainless steel rear, rear cover. It's a very good, very, this is a metal cover, so that means it can help make us thinner. Gorilla Glass 2 on the front also is a very high quality glass. So with this and other optimizations about the internal layouts, with that we've been able to make a 6.9 millimeter uh, 6.9 millimeter phone. You'll also notice there's no bump on the back, so most smartphones cameras will stick out. This one does not. Uh, we have the we're running the Intel, the new Intel Atom processor, the Clover Trail Plus. So it's running at 2.0 gigahertz, so it's super fast. You're going to have really good multitasking, very powerful processor. You'll be able to have uh, run lots of things at the same time, flip between programs with very little lag. It's a lovely processor, it's a lovely screen, it's a lovely design, and it's got some amazing cameras. It's a great phone. Okay.